Peggy 12. Okay, so after the release of X Rebirth, we are listening to feedback and try to add those features first that are requested by most people and which are possible to add fast. So in today's video, I try to explain some of the things added between patch 122 and 125, which comes out this week. One request we heard a lot was that people missed a proper logbook to keep track of their progress. So we have added a logbook to the info menu here from the main menu. As you can see, the logbook has tabs with categories. Each event logged goes into one category and you can filter the logbook to only show stuff from one category or delete all entries from one category you are not so interested in. Now we think some of the most important events are already logged, but it would be great if you could send us your suggestions for more things that you want to see in the logbook. To get an even better overview of your ships, it is now also possible to rename your ships. From the info menu, when you select the name line, you can click on the rename button and type a ship name. Now a quick run through the changes around trading. Let's start with a little thing. One feature that was asked a lot was an easier way to see all trade offers of a station. So you now have this new offer button below the station info menu, which brings you to a filtered view of the trade menu that only shows the offers of this particular station. This next thing is not new, but I think it was overlooked a lot. A very good investment for traders is definitely the Trade Computer software extension, available from all mechanics. Once you have this installed, instead of collecting each trade offer, you will immediately have all current trade offers of a station added to your Trade Computer memory, for as long as the offers are valid. So this can save you a lot of exploration time um, flying around stations, if you want to focus just on trading. The reason I showed the Trade Computer extension is that there is a closely related new feature in pa patch 125, which we called Agents. We have redesigned the small talk inside stations a little bit. People were complaining that this part of the gameplay was too repetitive. So what we changed is that once you played this small talk minigame successfully, instead of getting a random reward, you can now ask for the reward you want. This is especially useful if you want to find certain NPCs or need a very specific discount on a wear. You are no longer forced to play the game many times, but get the reward you want directly. And one new reward in this game is now the trade agent I mentioned before. You hire people aboard a station and they will always keep your trade computer up to date with information from that station. So this also includes new offers and not just those that were available when you were near the station yourself. All stations where you did this will then have an eye icon in the map. So these were two ways to collect trade offers more quickly. And with this, it should not require a lot of time to have quite a good overview of what wares are available around you or even across a larger area. The last feature I'm going to show in this video is a new method of locking targets. Many of you stated that you wanted the X3 style explicit target locking with the keyboard back. So you will now have remappable buttons that work a lot like the old T and E buttons in older X games. By default, this is now mapped to Shift F for all neutral ships and shift E for enemy ships only. The shift F button will first choose the ship which is closest to your crosshair, while shift E selects the enemy which is nearest to your ship, so maybe including one that is just behind you. I think it is especially this ability to lock on enemy ships quickly even if you don't have them on screen that people want it mostly. Together with these two new buttons also comes the ability to switch through all ships of the same type with page up and page down. There is a lot more we are working on and I'm going to post the list of some of our current work on the forums today.
computer ready to receive new commands. 